Hello and welcome to your 31st Django tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and send emails via a template. Um, so we're going to get started, but first we need to fix something that I made a mistake on. Um, in your master URLs.py file, uh, change app name to newsletters and namespace to newsletters. Because we called our app newsletters, and I noticed that right before I started this tutorial that we didn't call it newsletters. So there we go. All right, next thing we want to do is go ahead and set up our views.py file for um, sending emails via template. So the first thing I want you to do is go into your templates, newsletters, right click there, and we're gonna create three file, uh, four files, sorry. Um, so it's gonna be sign, sign underscore up underscore email dot HTML. And then we're, oops. Then we're gonna create another file. Same thing, sign underscore up underscore email dot txt for text file uh then we're going to do it again and this time it's going to be unsubscribe unsubscribe underscore email dot html and one more time for uh text so unsubscribe underscore email dot txt all right cool so now we got four templates to work with and the reason why we create four templates is because uh, I don't know how true this is anymore these days, but um, some email services don't accept um, HTML, so we will display text if they do not. Um, and Django comes with a cool little uh, uh, class that allows us to do that. So in our sign up dot our sign up un, our sign underscore up underscore email dot HTML file, we're gonna create. Uh, Neat, uh, HTML document uh, with the proper code. So HTML head, and we're not going to put anything in the head. Um, then down here, we're just going to body. All right. And then here, we'll put, uh, let's say, h2 tag. And we'll say, welcome to Master Code Online's newsletter. All right. Um, and then we'll put a P tag and say thank you for joining. And then we'll put one more P tag, and this will hold a unsubscribe link so the users can unsubscribe if they like. So we're gonna have uh, uh, to unsubscribe visit this link. Something like that. And then in here we'll do a href is equal to. Um, and then in here, curly brace, percent symbol, we'll say URL, uh, quote, uh, news letters, colon, uh, news letter on subscribe, I believe we called it. Uh, Percent symbol, curly brace, and then close out our quote, and then close out the A tag, and then here, just put on, here, I'll move my screen over so you guys see what's going on. Unsubscribe. There we go. It's a lot of typing. Anyhow, uh, let me just make sure that URL is correct. Oops. Yeah, that's correct. All right, <clears throat> I don't want to go through this and then have an, a wrong um, URL. So go ahead and copy that. Go to your unsubscribe email .html. All right, paste that in and just take out this line and say in here, we'll just say, sorry to see you go. Sorry to see you go. And we'll say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Alright, obviously this is not what we would use in real life, but um, just for testing purposes, this all works. Alright, so for the text files, let's go ahead and open our views.py file. And um, your sign up message down here, where am I? Alright, first one, 
sign up. Welcome to Master Code Online. I'm just going to copy this link. Or this text, I should say. There we go. We'll copy that. We'll go up and just paste that guy in there. Um, works. And then unsubscribe. What the hell is going on here? There we go. And then unsubscribe. We'll come down and copy that one as well. Uh, sorry, I double clicked it. Copy that. Go up to unsubscribe. Paste that in. There we go. All right, now in your views.py file, <clears throat> let's go to the top. We're going to import some stuff. Um, first one's going to be... Um, Dogs are freaking out. Uh, anyhow, uh, first one's going to be behind send email. So it's in the django.core.mail package. We're going to use email multi alternatives. And this, what this class allows us to do is send multiple alternatives or versions of our uh, message, which would either be HTML or text in our case. That's how we're going to set it up. So we import that class that allows us to do that. Next thing we're going to do is import a, um, a get template um, function, which will uh, allow us to get our template and render it. So get template dot loader import get underscore template. There we go. All right. And then we're going to come down to right below to email. We're going to take out to email and send. Just go ahead and delete. Whoops. Delete the whole thing, delete them, and we're going to get started right here. All right, so first things first, um, when we work with text files, we need to be able to open the text file up and grab the data or content that's in there. So to open a um, text file in Python, we use the with statement. And what the with statement does is um, the, the with statement will run and uh, will run the nested code below it um, and once it's done doing that it will close the file so that's why Python suggests hey if you're gonna open a file use the with statement because once it's done running it closes that file out so that's what we're gonna do uh, so we're gonna do with and then in here um, uh, we're gonna do open so the open function that will open our um, our file and then we're gonna pass a path as our first argument so the path is going to be base. Oh no, it's not. It's going to be settings dot base underscore dir. All right. So we're getting our settings file, and then we're getting the variable in there called base uh, underscore dir, which is the path to our src file. All right. Uh, in there, then we're going to concatenate the rest of our path, so a string, and then we're going to say uh, templates forward slash news letters forward slash sign underscore up underscore email dot oops email dot underscore text all right and we're going to give it a temporary variable so we'll say as f all right um so this is getting the path to our sign up dot text file and then we need to read it and save it to something or sign a variable to represent that data so we'll say uh, sign up message is equal to f dot read function all right so that will read the content and assign it to the sign up variable sign up message variable all right so under that and what happens here is the with statement will go ahead and get that data read it and then close all right so um now we're going to create a variable called message we're going to set that equal to email multi alternative so that we're calling this class and we're going to pass some uh um arguments to it so we'll do subject is equal to subject and then we'll do uh, body is equal to sign up message and then we'll do uh from email is equal to from email <laughs> 
And then we'll say 2 is equal to 2. Oop, 2 is equal to 2 email. All right. So that's kind of the same thing we did before with the uh, send mail, but we're now just configuring email multi alternatives. So as you notice that we um, set our text uh, message here in email alternatives. Uh, next thing we want to do is actually go and get our um, HTML templates. So we'll do HTML underscore template is equal to get underscore template. And we'll do, um, we'll pass a path to our template. So I believe it's newsletters forward slash sign underscore underscore up underscore email dot html and then we're going to say render call the render function or method after that to render the document and then we're going to go ahead and attach this to the email all uh, multi alternatives class so we'll do message dot uh, attach alternative and we'll pass our variable that holds our template so html template a comma and then we're going to pass what type of document it is we'll just say text forward slash html for html document and then we're going to send it by going message dot send all right we'll save that i just want to make sure my server is running wake up server wake up next thing i want to do is remove my email address that's in here Are you in here? Yeah, my email address is in here. So we'll just go ahead and remove that. I did it through the admin panel so I don't have to put unsubscribe and sign up back in the URL because that's just a pain in the hiney. There we go. And then we'll just go up here, hit enter to refresh this. And I'll just put my email address back in here. So there we go. I'll send it. All right, it says it's sent, so we got no error messages. That's a, a good start to this. Check the email. Currently, all I'm seeing is junk mail. Oh, there it is. All right, so there we go. We, you see we got the H tag up here. We actually have an unsubscribe link passed via our template, so that all worked, okay? Awesome. That's what we're looking for. Um, so next thing we're going to do is do our unsubscribe. So go ahead and open your text editor. And this is going to be really simple. Watch this. We're just going to copy this guy right here. And C, come down right below to email. Go ahead and paste it right there. Take that out. And then we can just change this to unsubscribe. Unsubscribe underscore email. And unsubscribe. There we go. Uh, that all should be good. Looks good to me. And now go back to your browser and we'll go to unsubscribe. And I'll unsubscribe this time. No errors. Get back to my email here. I got an email. Sorry to see you go. Bye bye. So you got the H2 tag and the, the regular P tags down there. So <clears throat> there you go. That is how you send an email from HTML document. Now, if Yahoo, I'm using Yahoo, obviously. If uh, uh, Yahoo did not um, 
be able to re uh, read HTML that would have read the text files instead. There's probably a way to set that up through settings, but I'm not too worried about it because the, to me, you're probably going to want to display HTML. All right. So that's my main focus right there. I know it works. And uh, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button. In the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and set up um, a uh, area, to, uh, a, uh, yeah, a, set up an ability to send uh, newsletters via the admin or whatever. Uh, we'll do that next and then uh, hopefully get off this uh, newsletter app. So I'll see you guys then.